Hello friends, this is Adam with Movie Guy 365 and today I'm going to review Spider-Man Far From Home in 3D Blu-ray. Please hit the like button, subscribe, hit that bell notification. I put out videos every single day. You can also find me over Twitter and Instagram at MovieGuy365, as well as over at the Disney Magic Hour podcast. I will leave a link for that in the description. All right, Spider-Man Far From Home 3D Blu-ray is finally here. Imported this directly from the UK. Uh, normally, I go to either Amazon or Zabi, and in this case... I went to um, uh, Amazon and I was kind of nervous about that one because typically I don't get a lot of slipcovers when I order 3D uh, imports. But as the fates would have it, I got one this time. Very happy about that. Uh, but also as far as the movie itself goes, I enjoyed it. I feel it was a little bit of a step down comparatively to uh, Homecoming. But I, I did dig uh, a lot of elements, and I think Jake Gyllenhaal was awesome. I just wish they utilized Mysterio a little better. It was, you know, for the most, the first half he's like playing a good guy. He's full in costume, and then in the back half of the film he's just kind of in a mocap suit, you know, pulling the strings. Not as effective, in my opinion. I still like it as a Marvel Cinematic Universe movie. I really did enjoy it. But you know, let's let's uh, not waste any time. Let's talk about the picture quality and audio. But first, let's do a quick unboxing. All right, so we have Spider-Man Far From Home, slipcover edition, courtesy of Amazon UK. I actually got a slipcover this time. I'm very excited about that. But I would say out of all the covers, including the, the 4K and the Steelbook, uh, I kind of dig this one the most. It's really, really a nice, just, I like the image. It's really nice. It's very pleasing. So, and then we have the spine here as well as the back cover. This is like exceedingly dark to read. Like I, I, you know, I have trouble a little bit seeing the small print, but I like got to shine like a flashlight to even read these details, honestly. And even then it's tough, but no, it's just a, it's just an epic, but all right. So let's pop this open. And of course our basic, you know, same, same thing, same thing. So pop that open cover art. And I believe the, 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 the disc art here is actually the, almost the same from the, the retail releases here in the States. I could be wrong. I'll have to double check on that, but yeah, overall, I really dig the artwork for the 3d Blu-ray. So let us talk about the picture quality and the audio. One of the things I love about an upcoming Spider-Man movie is I've always enjoyed the 3d aspect. The character lends himself to the 3d considerably and I feel while on uh, Homecoming it was a little bit more on the weak side it was a little more contained I, I was very I mean after watching uh, Far From Home in the theater and and on 4k I really was like okay there's so many scenes here I think would benefit greatly for the 3d immersive experience and I'm going to say for the most part it definitely meets those expectations I feel it's a very strong entry but it's not the strongest of what I would expect uh, I think, uh, of course, the majority of the scenes with him swinging around and especially towards the climax are the strongest aspects of this film. And of course, during any kind of battle scene, that's where it really kicks in. You know, it, with the drones and, you know, the various elemental creatures, those are good scenes overall. But I feel that it, it's not, it doesn't have, it, uh, bring itself to a lot of pop outs. And I'm not a huge pop out guy. I do appreciate it when it's used sparingly. And I feel it is used somewhat sparingly here. So, but it's not overburdened. I know a lot of people are more pop out uh, fans when it comes to 3D, but I think you'll find enough here that it'll be very pleasing. But immersively, it, it, it's good for me. I really enjoyed it. Uh, as I said, it's not the strongest entry as far as 3D. I feel that, you know, just judging off the Marvel Universe alone, I feel Doctor Strange did it so much better. And there was a lot of depth there. And it was just really like brought you in. But I feel that there was a couple uh, just spots that could have been improved upon. It's not bad whatsoever. I actually really enjoy the movie and I think it does a better job than Homecoming does. But you know, it's just, just be aware that it's not going to be the grand Spider-Man experience that you might think it would be. I think especially the scene towards the end when he's back in New York, I think like that was too, I understand why they did that from a filmmaking perspective, you know, the, the up close shot. But you, could, you can't help but think of how immersive that could have been. Uh, and there is one or two shots in there that does take use of it. But it's not, you know, it, I, I want to see, I really want a full Spider-Man experience. And, I, and I'm still waiting for that, I guess, at the end of the day. I want to see swinging through, you know, those kind of scenes. Like, imagine if Raimi's first two Spider-Man were available in 3D. Wow. 
that could have been something. But anyway, Far From Home, I think, does an admirable job with it. I really appreciate what, you know, the lengths they went for it. And it does it, it does make a nice uh, addition to your library. Audio-wise, we're getting a DTS 5.1 surround sound, and it's a very serviceable track. It's not nearly as strong as, or as immersive as, let's say, an Atmos track would be. And the Atmos on the 4K, weirdly enough, was just not very strong. Uh, Sony usually does a better job with that, but I feel this was very robust. It's a nice strong 5.1 experience. Uh, your surrounds are actively working at pretty much any given moment, whether it's you know little ambient noises or you know things that happen during major action scenes. You know the drones are a big factor there. Like you get a lot of whiz 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 and that sort of thing, and it's just a really good overall audio experience. LFE kicks in nice and appropriate times, and you know as far as front channels go, everything works great. No uh, issues there. No dialogue. You know problems whatsoever. Everything's very clear. So yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and give Spider-Man Far From Home 3D a solid A minus. I think it really is a good track I, or good audio video experience. 3D is good. I think it just needed just a little bump up slightly. I, you know, just a little bit more. I think there were opportunities they missed, but I feel overall it's a very good experience and it's a very good disc. It's absolutely worth checking out. You can freely, as I mentioned or, uh, earlier, you can order that from Amazon UK or Zavi or you know there are various other places you can import this as long as you support the format like I do. Just you know, it's still being made, people. So definitely check it out if you can. So let me know in the comments below, which version did you prefer? Did you prefer the 4K, the 3D? I think for me, uh, I would say 4K visually as far as the color pop and everything goes, but I think uh, just for the overall experience, I think the 3D really kind of wins out, you know, in my opinion. So let me know. In the meantime, please like, subscribe, hit that bell notification. I put out videos every single day. So until next time, this is Adam with Movie Guy 365. I will see you at the movies.